Good morning and welcome to this Tuesday in the second week of Easter. I'm so glad you could join me as we continue to reflect on the readings for daily Mass. So again, we go very quickly from passages of resurrection to teachings about baptism and the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we have this passage from the third chapter of John, or is it the fourth chapter? Let me just verify that. No, it's the third chapter, where Jesus is speaking with Nicodemus, one of the Pharisees. And he says to him, unless one is born from above, they cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And then he uses that analogy of the wind. We can hear the sound of it, but we cannot see it. He says, such are those who are born of the Holy Spirit. What does it mean for you and I to live in the Easter mysteries that we just celebrated during Holy Week? Very simply, it is to live the life of Jesus. And the life of Jesus is what? It is a life lived by the Holy Spirit, lived under the influence and by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you want to make a, a study on your own, Go into Luke's Gospel, read those first four chapters, and notice how many times the Holy Spirit is connected to Jesus, is referenced with regard to Jesus. And so when we are baptized, what the Holy Spirit wants to do in you and in me is to form that life of Jesus within us. This is why St. Paul will talk about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We cannot see the Holy Spirit like that analogy of the wind, but we can see the wind's effects in the trees and the, the waving of the grass, the ripples on the water, on the lakes and the rivers. We can see the effects. So too with the Holy Spirit. We can see the fruits. And St. Paul lists those fruits. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, humility, self-control, purity. We can look at the Beatitudes for other examples. We can talk about the virtues of faith, hope, and love. And so, this is what the Holy Spirit wants to raise up in us. And the more we allow the Holy Spirit to influence our actions, our thoughts, our desires, our attitudes. This is what it means to live a risen life. This is the new life that Jesus has won for us. And it's the Holy Spirit that brings it to us and produces it in us. And so one important way for this to grow in us is for us to become more and more accustomed to the ways of the Spirit, to become attuned to this new way. And we know how challenging that is because we are often more easily attuned to the way of the old life, the way of the flesh, that phrase that Scripture use, uses to speak about our fallen human nature, these inclinations to sin, these areas of attachment 
areas where our desires are still disordered. And so these continually need to be opened to the power of Jesus crucified so that we can experience mercy, new forgiveness, new beginnings, that the areas of woundedness and hurt can be healed, that our desires can be brought into order and placed at the service of the teaching of Christ. There's a beautiful example of what I'm speaking about in the first reading today, taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Let's just listen for a moment what it says. The community of believers was of one heart and one mind, and no one claimed anything as his own possessions. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. So here we see three fruits, three examples of the Holy Spirit giving shape to this new life in this first community. The first fruit, unity. United in mind and heart around the life and teaching of Jesus. The second fruit is generosity. In some cases, heroic generosity. That ability to see everything as a gift from God. Receiving it as a gift anew every day using what one needs, and sharing what one has with those who do not have, who need it. And the third characteristic is courage and boldness to proclaim the resurrection of Jesus. This is just one example of this new life, of this risen life of Jesus that the Holy Spirit wants to raise up more and more in you and me. So let us call upon the Holy Spirit today. Let's invite the Holy Spirit into everything. And let us open ourselves to His movement, to His grace, to this holy breath of God that comes to us from the risen Christ. Amen. Amen.